Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a live Art City with me, Angela. We're going to be doing a fun, cute little project today. Uh, we're going to be making these little miniature um, kites. Uh, the things you are going to need for this project are, get my list out here so I can see what I need, what everything I need, just so I don't forget. It's not a lot, but Okay, you're going to need string. You're going to need a stapler. I have a red stapler. You're going to need a hole punch. This is a leather punch. It's one of my favorite um, tools that I have. Or a, or a hole punch, whichever. But I like the leather punch because you can turn this. See that? It's pretty cool. Um, but if you have a small hole punch, preferably. If you don't, whatever. But a small one is, is better. Preferable, I should say. Also, you'll need a pair of scissors. Um, some markers. Which I forgot to grab my markers. Markers. And um, some paper. A printer paper. I do not have any printer paper, but I do have my little small sketchbook paper and that'll work just fine so I'm gonna use that now the first step in all of this and I'm gonna zoom this down so you all can see what what's going on here the first step in all of this is to decorate your paper first okay on both sides if you would like um, let's see if I can get a little closer here uh, so you want to color it with whatever you don't have to have markers you can have um, color pencils you could do two different uh, mediums like color pencils crayons and markers or whatever you would like um, but you want to decorate it nice and lines and whatever uh, I say uh, because the paper is going to be I'm gonna take this apart the paper is going to be um, folded. You know what? If we fold it first and then decorate, maybe that might work a little better. Let me take this off really quick. I'm going to leave that there so I don't get that all over my, my board. Okay. Uh, what you want to do is take your printer paper and fold it in half and make a crease. Crease it up real good. Nice little crease. Make sure it's even. All right. Nice and crease. Open it up. Now, you're going to decorate all this, okay? Front and back, uh, preferably. I like to do things on the edges because the edges are really going to show. You know what I mean? And uh, right here. All right. So, start doing that first. However you want, do all kinds of patterns. You can do triangles or, oh, I don't know. You could do um, polka dots. You could do little squiggly lines. Try to make it uniform. So, in other words, try to make them even on both sides. With this one, I didn't make it even. And I could kind of tell that it's not even. Um, and then, you know, color it in. Make it look nice. You most definitely can't use this out in the rain, so don't try that because it is just paper, and if it's raining, you can't really do that. But color in your whatever, or draw doodles on it, or whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to draw some things. Uh, maybe I'll do the same thing on the other side just to make it even looking. I'll put a different color in the middle of it, though. Like this. These are really fun, and you know they actually do fly. Um, I did another tutorial with some little teeny tiny kites, and they work okay, not as good as I want them to, but it, I mean, they do work. But I prefer, this one works really well. Of course, I can't show it to you because I'm indoors, but if you take it outside and if you have wind where you're at right now, that's even better. I don't, it just so happens that I don't have a lot of wind where I'm at right now. 
and um, it's misting. It's kind of raining, so I don't really, I'm not going to, I wanted to take it outside and video film myself live doing it outside, but there's no wind, and so that's not really going to work for me. Okay, so I've done both sides a little bit, and then I'm going to keep adding, keep adding to it. I want to do some yellow because I think yellow is very complimentary. Now you got to think the size of it is the wings of the bird. So you got to think about how you want to decorate the wings of the bird. You know what I mean? However, I don't, I actually hope I don't mess it up. All right, and I'm going to use a different color on this side because a little different yellow. And then I'm just gonna actually gonna follow these lines right here that I did on the other side because you can see through it. All right, there's that. Add some more color. Get these yellows up. All right, maybe some, maybe some green. No, yeah, some mint green. Some mint green would be pretty. Okay. I'm going to do some dots. You also got to think, like, when you're flying this, it's going to, you can put it pretty high if you reinforce, like, where the string is at. And I don't have the reinforcement for it, but I'll tell you what you can use. Now, look at that. See, I did that uneven. It's uneven. A little better. Okay, flip it over, do the other side. Different color, we'll do a different green. And I'll do it a little different like this. If you wanted, you could do some stuff right here too. The middle. I think maybe I will. I think maybe I'll put some little lines in the middle of it. So that's what I have so far. On that side, put some here. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna mimic the other side. So just follow the other side if you could see through it. That way it's kind of even. There we go. Okay, now that's what I have right now. Next step, now that I have that, I'm gonna move this paper out of the way because I don't need that anymore. All right, now next step is to, maybe I wanna see if I can zoom this up a little bit. There we go, a little higher. Okay, the next step is you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna decide which side you want to be the outside of it, okay? Oh, which side you want to be the outside. Uh, let's see, what do I want for outside? Here. Or do I want it like this? I'm trying to figure it out right now. Okay, I want mine like this. So fold your paper again in half like we had it. Okay, and then you're going to take um, your, you're gonna take your uh, corners of your paper and we are going to fold it, not fold it, you don't wanna, you don't wanna crease it, okay? So what you're doing is just kinda pull it down, you see that? And then since I've pulled that down, I'm gonna take the other side and I'm gonna do the same. And then what you wanna do is you wanna hold your paper to where the two corners, can you see that, are perfect together. So you want the corners together and then pull them down until you're on this part of the paper. See how I did that? So pull them down until they're even and then pull it like this until it's on the paper. And then you're gonna take that, make sure they're even, okay? And then you're gonna take your stapler and you're gonna staple right there. And now we have stapled our kite together. Oh, look at that, that is a really cool design. I'm so happy that I picked that side. And here's the bottom. That's what it's gonna look like on the bottom when it's flying. Awesome! All right, and then once you have that, the next step is to take, it's a, this is a super quick project, 
Um, but it is a lot of fun. And so you're gonna take that. Hello, William, how are you? Hi, Sandy. Um, and then so you're gonna take that and you wanna draw like um, eyes on it. So you want your, you want, since this is your bird, bird kite, you wanna figure out how you wanna draw your eyes. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm gonna, the other one I did big, huge circles. So this one I'm not. This one I'm gonna do something a little different. So I made an oval on mine. You can make yours however you want, but this is how I'm doing mine. Kind of like a people face on mine. And then you wanna flip that over and look and see how you did it on the other side, which um, I don't think I'm gonna get it even. I'm gonna try, but I don't think I am. I think it's gonna be a little bit bigger. And then do the same thing on the other side, as good as you can. This one looks better. Um, and then add what the same things, try to get the same. All right, and then I'm going to color that part in. Creepy bird eyes. I made some creepy bird eyes, that's what I did. All right, and once you have that, you wanna add your, um, your beak to it. So you could do yellow or orange or uh, you know, whatever color you want. I'm going to do a light yellow on this one since I have already the darker yellows on here. Ooh, be careful I don't get that on my wood. And then flip it over, do the same thing. I think I'm going to put a line here to make it look like it's got an actual mouth. That. And then I'm going to outline that. There we go. So there's the beak. If you wanted, you could add some different stuff to it. Maybe I'll put like some little um, round red circles right there on its face. Birds have circles on their face, right? You can do whatever. It's your bird. Do whatever you want. All right, so now this is what we got so far. Okay. On either side, it's a bird. Okay, and then um, right here, this is one of the last steps. Not quite the last yet, but we're getting there. Uh, when you put your hole in this, what you want to do is you want to... Um, don't put it right up in the middle. You want to put it up further, kind of about right here, okay? So then you're going to take your hole punch, and you're going to punch a hole. Now, um, I think actually what would work a little better, and I, I haven't done this, but I, I should tell you all to do this. Um, but I don't have any scotch tape with me right now, and that's why I'm not doing it. But if you watch this video later and you're not doing it with me now... I'll edit this and put on there the, to use tape because you can take a piece of clear tape and put right in here and then do the hole punch. And what that does is it reinforces the hole. So if the wind is too strong, it will um, make it a little stronger so it doesn't rip your paper. You know what I mean? And I don't have any scotch tape right now. So, I mean, if you have tape, that's fine. I didn't put it on the list, but I have this stuff. Maybe I'll just do this. So if you have any tape handy, you can always do it later. Um, just put a piece of tape. I don't like that it's not clear, but this will work. Put a piece of tape right there, and that way that's going to help reinforce the hole. All right, and then now uh, poke your hole. Now, if you already did it, you can go back and put a piece of scotch tape over it again like that, and then just... Uh, hole punch again it'll be fine all right so this is what I got now I just thought of that and I thought what am I doing I should have reinforced that I don't know what I was thinking okay and so now that you have it reinforced now your string you're gonna take your string and um, you want to make it pretty long okay now if you have fishing line that's even better but you want to do the string poke the string through so find something to poke your string through I have these little clay tools and they work fantastic for poking the string through. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use this and that one's a little too big though. Several different sizes. There we go, this is better. 
and then just push that through. All right, and then you want to double knot it on. So one and two. Okay, now you can cut some of this off if you want. Don't cut too much off, I would say. All right, and then I'm going to pull out some more of this string here. Now, this is the thing. I'm not going to do this because I'm not really going to go outside and fly kite. <laughs> but um, most of you probably will try to fly this. And so if you're going to try to fly this, what you need to do is you need to take a piece of paper, a little square piece of paper. Let me show you. Okay, I have this right here. I'll use this. It's a little card. You want it smaller than this, but this is, I use this for my earrings. But anyway, this is how you're going to do this. You, what you want to do is you want to tape a piece of, tape your string to the end or to one of these cards, okay? To a card, okay? You want to tape it to it. Tape it on the back here. All right, and then what's going to happen is you're going to take your string and you're just going to start wrapping it like this. And then, um, then that way you have something to hold on to. Make it smaller. This is too thick. It's just something I had on hand. But um, then you'll be able to hold it while it's flying. And this actually does fly. It's really cool. I, I probably will take it out just to see. Um, but it really does, it really does fly. Uh, and they're really neat. This is really cute. I think this one turned out better than my other one. Personally. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me for this make a little miniature kite, bird kite. Super easy design and they really do work. Um, I tried it with cardstock earlier. Don't use cardstock. Um, it makes it too heavy. I might take it outside just to see if it works, but I tried it inside and tried to move it and it didn't really do what it should have. I don't know, might be able to fly it like a paper airplane maybe. Anyway, um, use the thin printer paper, do it on a day when it's not, um, raining or going to rain because it'll ruin your little project. But, uh, this is it. And thanks for joining me, making an awesome little bird kite. Um, if you want, uh, take your kite outside, fly it, and video it, post it on Instagram, and hashtag City Museum would be awesome. So then we can find it or at City Museum, even better, um, because I do believe that is our hashtag, or our, our at is City Museum. I think that's it um, on Instagram. Anyway, so yeah, do an at to us so we can see how it flies. That'd be so cool. I would love to see that. Uh, thanks. Have a great day. Tomorrow, 11 o'clock, another fun project. See you then.